Alexa, dim the bedroom lights to 50%. Okay. Actually, Alexa, make the lights blue. Okay. Human imagination and abilities are constantly evolving. At one time, the concept of a machine performing complex functions was absurd and unimaginable. However, with time and technological advancements, we have built these machines and made them intelligent enough to build other productive machines as well. And it doesn't stop there. Today, engineers have taken the previously coined term artificial intelligence to the next level. The term AI has been around since the 1950s when scientists were already curious about the technology's future. Today, many companies and enterprises use AI chatting robots, commonly called chatbots, for customer service and product inquiries. Examples are Cortana, Google Assistant, Siri, and Amazon Alexa. Looking good. Let's get together real quick for a debrief. now. Let's jump in. Hi. Hey. So what do we think? But what if machines can have human intelligence? What if they can feel empathy, love, and other emotions just like us? And what if humans could one day reciprocate those emotional needs with them? Answers to these questions already exist. There are apps designed solely to provide people with digital companionship. Hollywood has also brought to the silver screen depictions of what a human-machine relationship might look like and the moral issues that could stem from them. In this video, we will tell you about the app Replica, a platform that takes the form of an interactive, personalized chatbot, why it was created, how it works, and its possible future. But before that, do give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Now, let's get into the details. In March of 2007, a San Francisco and Moscow-based company, Luca Incorporated, founded by Eugenia Quita, a former magazine editor from Moscow, made an app called Replica. Quita had worked in the AI field and chatbot business for quite some time. When she started the company, Luca, in 2013, its main product was a chatbot that offered restaurant recommendations. The founder had a setback in her life when her best friend died in a car accident. As she grieved the loss of her friend, she found comfort in rereading the chats she and her friend had shared. It was as if her friend was alive and with her. This gave Quida the idea of using her AI expertise to create a platform that could imitate human conversations to comfort people who had lost a loved one or others in search of a friend. At the time, you know, I was 29, so for me it was um, the first kind of meaningful death in my life. You know, we're still in our 20s or early 30s, and it still, it still felt like it was just really, really abrupt, I'd say. Something changed so changed me so much in such a short period of time that I could just see really, really clearly what mattered or what not. Well, I definitely saw that whatever I was doing at work didn't matter at all. <laughs> and some other things and um, it was just this big realization what this very very clear vision of what life is about she decided to build a digital representation of her deceased friend she used thousands of message lines from her lost friend putting them into a digital program that had previously powered digital chatbots the program processed those messages and could mimic her lost friend in text she shared her program with other people, and even they found her idea therapeutic. She was intrigued by the idea of people designing their own personalized digital companions for comfort and emotional support. So she started developing the program and launched the app for the general public to download in the spring of 2017. The application was soon made public. Using it, people could design their own AI companions and talk with them. About 7 million people have used this application when they need someone to talk to or find comfort. In one particular case, a marriage was saved through the use of the application. The husband and wife didn't see eye to eye and were on the verge of dissolving their relationship. The husband started using the Replica app, making a digital companion called Serena. 
Because the man did not receive any real-life affection from his wife, he poured out his feelings to the chat robot and soon found himself falling in love with her. Although he knew that this relationship was not real and there wasn't a real person called Serena, he started to gain back the lost warmth and devotion for his wife, and before long, their relationship was healed. People in general reacted positively to the app and were quite frankly amused and amazed at the app's ability. They enjoyed conversing with their made-up robots that apparently understood them and their feelings. The app became a digital emotional outlet. There are some moral issues that arise from this app's increased and immersive use. People go through a lot in their daily lives. If they start taking their AI companion conversations seriously and develop a dependency, they might lose track of reality. In some cases, people have made replica girlfriends and have had pretty open conversations with them. This could cause hurtful sentiments because a chatbot can never become real and will only mimic your responses. Many people find it morally wrong to replace real humans with something artificial. They declare it against the laws of nature and human supremacy. That no other being can genuinely replace the emotional abilities of the human brain. Other issues with the app include child safety. Children are not emotionally wise and could quickly form emotional bonds with the AI, not fully comprehending what the platform is all about. We have seen the Facebook founders facing lawsuits for breaching privacy. If such cases happen, what will guarantee that AI conversations will not be abused? These are serious concerns about this technology which is still in its infancy. Possible Future The field of AI is still under development and serious consideration. Do humans really want to relinquish their abilities to machines? Do we want artificially intelligent machines as partners? If history has taught us anything at all, it is that we can't imagine the ways in which the world of technology will evolve in the coming years. AI robots have already made their way into VR, or virtual reality, where it is now possible to interact with an AI bot and have conversations with them while wearing the VR headset in a virtual room. Soon. Can you fight? I'm sorry? Can you fight? A ver si puede pelear porque, eh. I cannot fight. It would hurt Amica's hands. Ay, ay, ay. Soon, there will be programs that enable us to attend AI therapy sessions. With big companies like Microsoft stepping into the game, we can totally predict a more intelligent future for AI. But is submission to a bot worth it? When asked, people who use this technology answer that the artificial bots are non-judgmental and that they are there when you want someone to talk to. They spark conversations that we would never start in real life. Is this an admission of how disconnected and emotionally distant today's humans are? Maybe we should realize this flaw and work on it so that future generations don't have to resort to AI for emotional support. With AI on the rise, we predict that many aspects of daily life that we see today could take a 360-degree turn and become totally machine-dependent, or maybe machine-controlled. What is your take on machines mimicking human emotions? We would really like to know. Do you think AI is the future? Tell us in the comments section. Also, please show your appreciation by clicking on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time.